Welcome back to SOS. I'm BA, and today I've got Columbia River Knife and Tool Persevere Survival Axe. Now, I'm not I'm not here to sell it to you. I'm just I wanted to show you guys what it is and give you some ideas. Maybe you could build something yourself. But it is a cool little gadget. Comes in a little thing like this and let's go ahead and show you how it works I got little Ellie Bell with me today she's helping me out all right so you want to get yourself something fairly green to use for this I kind of like the curve that this one had to to nab up kind of beating some of this extra stuff that's going to come off anyways off of it there we go all right there's that now you're not going to have one of these perfectly flat logs when you're out in the woods and finding things that you can use. You don't want anything dry like this because this is going to bust and shatter into a million pieces, right? So you're going to want something green and you can break that off, you know, but something greener. And I wanted to show you something might have to bring you in closer I'm not sure let me see slide you over here you just come join the party over here here we go okay now you can see it all right let's go ahead and take this off I did that so I would I wouldn't cut myself now I'm using I'm using Titan survival cord for this and the way this comes it comes with these comes with these but you can do it without you don't need these these wedges to make this work but it comes with wedges and I'm going to show you how to use them now if you guys remember back a while back I had just a knife uh, just an axe head and I did axe head paracord and a stick right and I made myself a camp axe now you don't need these but it comes with those I'm gonna show you how to use them anyway all right watch out Elbow. Come in hot, kid. All right, go that way. All right, let's raise this up so you can see what I'm doing here. I don't want you guys to miss nothing. I like sharing. Sharing, that's what it's all about, right? You guys want to see what I'm doing. All right. So, got my grains here. Uh, nice, solid piece of, uh, nice, solid piece of wood. And I got a nice, I got... I cut right into this was multi knot. There's a bunch of knots here, and I went ahead and, and cut into that so I could get that. Now, let's kind of give it a tap. Take your time. Now, you can bring this to the ground, you don't have to do it on a surface like I'm doing now. Just watch your little fingers. No. <laughs> Gotta keep that pinky out. <laughs> Don't end up losing the finger. See, that's good. See that? No. I'm not trying to make this fast work. I just need to get just a little bit into it. Right about to that hole. You see where the hole is there? It's about how far you want to go into it, and this will come right out. Okay. Now, you want to measure where your notch is going to go. Okay. So, you know your, you know this is there. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and get it one more time. Just be on the safe side. Give a little bit more split there. All right. So you know it's going down to here. So you know that's about where you'll be. Okay, guys. Right. Okay. So right about here is where your notch is going to be, and you can use your blade. All right. So you don't need to pull out another knife. You could just use the blade. Hey, Dad. Mm-hmm. Hey, can you use this? Yeah. 
Can you help and see? Yeah. All right. You gotta dig in. This is for your peg. That's if you're gonna use the pegs. On there. Rock back and forth works pretty good. <laughs> Ellie, I'm not sure why you're how you're helping me, but you're definitely entertaining. You got that side smoothed out for me down there? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Uh, gotta love it. At least he's interested in what we're doing. She's not at that age yet where she's talking on her phone. Right? Right, Ellie? Like. You ain't got no friends on Facebook right now. My friends at school. Yeah? Yeah. But she had to help you me. Get that, get that preschool mafia. All right, watch out, kiddo. Watch out. All right. Got my little notch right there. And let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and drive in our peg. Where I want that to go just doesn't really matter, does it? All right, see it's notches in there. Now, I'm gonna have to make sure, let's get this lined up. And get our other pegs. Now, one thing you need to know, if the pegs don't go in, see, there's not enough room, then you just need to make this groove bigger. Just slide it out, and then. Okay. It's taking a lot of time. Sure does. deep this time you want it rounded well I don't want it rounded yeah you do you want it rounded kid trust me look look my sister was <laughs> you're so ridiculous all right I got the she's yep yeah. sissy's at school is that what you're saying? Yeah. yeah. My boy, my All right. Check it out there, Ellie. See there? <laughs> Easy now. Just gonna come over here and take the camera away. All oh, right. Well. That's in there. Ooh. It's seated. Now I can try out these again. Okay. 
All right. I wanted to be able to show you guys in a different environment, overhead, the wrapping, because people kind of get lost in stuff like this. Now, this is what I'm using, like I said, Titan Survival Cord, and that's the only thing I changed about the project. Now, you can, before you put this in and, and put everything down, you could just go ahead and put your, because it comes with a bead. This is the cord that it comes with comes with a bead on here and that bead will slide in right there and you can go ahead and slide this in and put your pins in or right you don't have to do it that way you could just uh, I don't know how many people would argue with that but you could just run it through the bottom it's wide enough down here you just run it along the groove with the axe head and just pull it through right you just pull that through and this also gives you the option if you don't want to wrap it the way I'm about to wrap it, you could wrap it like this, across, you know what I mean? Behind, over, you know what I mean? So you could even these out one even length and then wrap them that way. And then tie them if you wanted to. Or you can do like I'm about to do is uh, the half hitches, right? Pull this in here and then you'll just you'll come over with like a half hitch, right? Like that. I'll just show you what it looks like so you guys have an idea. Like this, right? Just pull it into itself and this would go over the whole project. I just want to do it so you can see. I'm not doing it like that because that's how I do it, but I want, I want you to be able to see. All right, so half hitch and then <clears throat> Sometimes when I get to doing these things, I don't realize that the camera's not looking. <laughs> I was doing this a minute ago, and it was, uh, you guys couldn't see what I was doing. And then I went on and finished the video, and I realized you guys couldn't see. So I'm just doing this over again. So just do a few little half hitches here. Let's go ahead and get this started. Just like that. Let's do a few of those. Plus, it gives it a cool look. I don't know if that really matters much, right? It's not about the cool factor. So use the top notch to get over to the other side, okay? You'll come back and grab this other notch later. Just go ahead and grab this one and come over right here. Now, you could go you could go ahead and do that or you could just go ahead and go down, but you're still going to have to come back up. See what I mean? You're still going to have to do all that. So I mean, you could save that for last and just come over like this, or you could go under like this. So it doesn't really matter. You could do it either way. But me, I would prefer, I would prefer to just go over this first part and then lash the back here and then pull and come up here and then go ahead and uh, do a half hitch here I know I'm moving away from the camera again it's hard unless you've got a camera dude like following you around you know, it's kind of hard to if I had like a little mini drone that could just hover over me while I'm doing this stuff it'd be much easier but a human tends to move around a lot all right there's that so I got a little half hitch there now I can go in and do another half hitch just like that and you get that now I can go over to this guy I could go over to this guy over here come back that'll hold the when I cross over, that'll hold that one down. Come up here, over. Let's go over like that. There we go. Now, back, forth, over, back. And then at the bottom here, you can do this, wrap the whole thing if you like, 
doesn't really matter. Or you can hitch all the way down. Once you get to here, I would go ahead and start hitching it just like that. Bring it in, hitch. Just create a spiral all the way around. And it doesn't matter how much this material you got left over. I mean, if you back off a little bit and then bring it up so you get that little bit of gap and just give it a pull. And that'll tighten it up on there and just tuck it in for now. That's that's what it would look like. Just like that. You can do it either way. You can either do cross like this. So I've, I've done it both ways with the crosses or the you can um, you can uh, do what I've done here. Uh, loop and pull loop. Pull. But each one of them have pressure. But there you go. And just like that. All right. Showing you this, and it's kind of brutal, right? But here's the thing. If you want to, you don't need these, right? Yeah. <laughs> so if you want to, you don't need these. All you need is these, uh, all you need is just the uh, blade itself and some paracord. Because you just lace through the holes. Wherever you have these holes at, you just lace right through there. And you'll still get that same, same grip. Pretty nice setup. I could have went with a, with a smaller stick than this but this will work works pretty good now i got something i can put in one of my small kits but you could make this something like this you could make this and th this is just me sharing and giving you ideas but you want something cool show your buddies it's not it's not gimmicky if you remove these these tabs once you lose these tabs here get rid of those because you're probably going to lose one or two anyway and they like to slip anyways just use the blade right anyways hope this helps god bless take care please share